G'day race fans, it's Adrian here, and welcome back to Just A Ride. G'day guys, let me paint a picture for you. Out I was on Sunday morning, being just generally awesome, as I am on the e-bike, and uh, the old dropper seat post here I have in twixt the hand, uh, it gave it up. It went no more, sir. Uh, this is the first time one of these has, uh, one of these has failed on me. Um, it's the first one I've ever owned. Um, I've seen them fail in the past and uh, like for example, I've seen them lose the ability to go up. So you're just down and it stays down. And I'll be honest, if I had had that failure, this, would not, this video would not have been made. Well, I'm actually kind of cool with it just being down all the time. Um, it's a bloody e-bike after all, isn't it? Like what efficiency I may lose in not having that optimum seat post height, um, I make up for in just sheer lithium ion wattage power. Uh, so yeah, this was the opposite, right? This failed and it wouldn't stay down. Uh, it, and it, would, it was up. Uh, and not only was it up, it was bouncing. Like that, as you pedaled, which was just ridiculous, whilst it's still been in the full up position. So that quickly put the end to that ride. Uh, and down I was in the car park, putting the bike back into the ute, uh, and I could just smell what I thought initially was like, uh, gearbox oil or diff oil i don't know what it is about diff oil but if you've ever smelt diff oil you know what i'm talking about and if you haven't smelt diff oil you're lucky i envy you um so i'm, I'm, I'm smelling this in the car park of the mountain bike trails let's go oh this is woeful this is terrible oh so yeah kind of you know, bike goes in gets tethered down they take the kit off you know this smell is just getting worse and worse. I'm taking the knee pads off and that's my boot. <laughs> and I'm realizing that's an oil stain on my toe. And then I look up into the tray of the ute where the bike is housed. And it's been there for maybe 60 seconds at this point. And there is a wee little puddle of very viscous, dirty oil. And of course your first impression is like, what the hell is that? I want to touch it. And then, you know, <laughs> I'm going, to sm it, I'm going to inhale it, I thought, I'm going to smell it. And it was about here I realised, oh my God, that's the diff oil that I could smell around me that I thought was in the car park. Oh, now it's on me. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, and this garage still kind of smells a little bit like it when this was removed and all the rest of the oil that was in here that hadn't escaped, it escaped and all the oil that had escaped but hadn't actually left the bike yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, made a bright mess, smells terrible. Uh, hence why, one of the reasons why the whole bike is apart because the irony of this being in an electric motor that was covered in oil. Isn't that funny? Because it's like, there's no oil in this thing, trust me. <laughs> but um, yeah, not anymore, it's cleaned up. Uh, and of course the cable that actuates this up on the handlebar, little thumb brake levery thing. Um, that is in, the cable for that is internally routed throughout the frame, up under the battery, over the motor. Um, so I'm like, well, I know I've got all this oil. <laughs> I've got this dead seat post. I've got all this oil in the, in the internals. I'm internally bleeding is what I am and I need to swab the blood out. So I did that. Um, and I got a new seat post. Uh, this one is a little bit bigger than what I gutsed. Um, if only for one reason. <laughs> My wallet. <laughs> These things are frighteningly expensive. I know I'm looking at it and I've like, trust me, I've had that one fully apart. I know the very, uh, the, at, at its raw rudimentary level, how it works. And I know that that, that was gone. Um, but yeah, it's not too much to it. And you can spend four digits. That's four 
digits. We're talking a thousand dollars, a thousand Australian pesos um, for a good one. <laughs> we all know that I didn't spend a grand on this, didn't we? Mm. And if we didn't, we do now. Um, so this obviously is going to be the replacement, and oh, I'm strong. That's really hard. There's some pressure in there. Um, the cable. The internally, the internally routed cable that actuates that has to be amended because it's longer than the original. So um, I've got a new internal, sorry, I've got a new external cable there. I have an internal as well. That's in the kit bag. I'll get that. Um, but I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the old cable. Um, just dummy it up in situ just to get the right length. So let's get into that. I'm going to snip this. Okay, so I've taken the 50 mil or so off this old cable, put the old ferrules back on because it is now a case of where do you go? You go there. Do a sit tube. Let me just get eyes on that. So I can house that little ferrule in the recessed part. Uh, yes, yes. Bushka, love it. In it goes. I'm pretty much using, I'm going, I'm going to like, can't go anymore because it's a bend. Because like I said, it's a slightly longer one. But what I've what I've lost in that I've got in the the into the deeper into the seat tube. What's has the has the back of my head go? Is that right? Uh, all right, that goes into there, and this comes up through here, goes around here, over there, into that. That looks. Oh yeah, there's plenty of, I was going to say, I'm a bit short up here, but I'm a bit long there. That's still on? Yep. Yeah, I like that. Yep, that's not jagging through the full travel. Love it. All right. That is my size. Pull this back out. Turn that. All right. That's my size of outer. Let's make the new one this size. Right there, I love it. I'll tell you about measuring twice. <laughs> Alright, let's put some ferrules on it, you feral. Um, where are any ferrules? Where are ferrules at? I'm just like saying feral. There's one, there's the other. Hey, one thing I do know for real, guys, is, yep, I got it right there. Drop the ferrule. The brutality of uh, those wire clippers do do a little bit of harm to the internal portion of this cable. And all I've got to do is just rectify it. <laughs> That's like a bull one. I, I think this is an Australian product for those of you guys overseas that can't understand what I'm saying. Um, this is an Australian product. That was sarcasm. Um, that is just a, it's a good lubricant. You know, like, you know, I know WD-40 is a universal product. <laughs> that I wipe my bottom with, sir. Inox is the jam. All right. I have here a new internal cable which one should just always have spare in the uh, in the kit bag. 
So I'm gonna to have to replace this, aren't I? To be ultimately super efficient. Crap on there, perfect. What is that? Get the end of it. There you go. And the beauty of this is, um, you know the good old days, oh, I still have a Duralia, you know, where the, the nipple end of said internal cable um, is up on the actuator and the raw edge that you end up having to clamp and put force on to get the actuation that you need in whatever purpose it is. Um, yeah, this is opposite. The nipple is going to go in there. And the raw end is going to get clamped up at the uh, thumb lever end. And it makes perfect sense, right? I've just got to get in there and tighten something up down in that. Whilst there's a seat tube up there, please. Okay. Can you get a bit of that? Well, I did that just for your benefit, that angle. Just to make it hard for myself. Uh, I hope that bloody well paid off. Alright. Another hand. Okay. So my ferrule is on. A new ferrule. I felt good. I felt real good. Should have I done that the other way? Uh, I've got to feed this through. What are my odds of getting this in? Just start stuffing, I reckon. Uh, should I have so this is the way you do it guys you um you feed it through the bottom <laughs> and you do all the jazz up here whilst you're through the seat tube all right you saw the last one you know what I'm doing bugger you Need that internal pull down. Thank you. Love it. Lubrication. Goes to that mark. How about to get a collar on there, you fool? Um, there's a collar. So once you've got the seat collar on, <laughs> you feed the cable up through the seat post, you attach it to the bottom of the seat post, then you thread the cable through the frame. I hope you're writing this down. All right, you have a home and you are going to go through your little home in there. Show yourself. All right. Second feral. Oh, this one's got a hole on it. No, this one's broken. It is. Yeah, there's no light getting through that. <sighs> All right. Lovely. And up into the heel. Lovely. I reckon there's a 
ton of slack here. Yes, there is. Lovely. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to cinch all this up. There's a lot of stuff I didn't take off. So I'm going to put that back on. Um, yeah. Magic of editing. Great success. Proof of life. All put back together. Seems to be working pretty well. But, uh, yeah, so there's, it's like a, hey, stay there, bike. Let me get that shot. There's the, it almost looks like the gear lever, right? Gear lever there. Seat post clamp here. Happy days. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, be well, catch you next time.